Well, late, late, late last night, we finished installing this bad boy. Uh, and the switches work and it's all wired and we've got a switch back in the cockpit that works. We're really excited, especially me, because I don't have to haul the anchor up by hand anymore, which uh, makes me so excited. But the only problem is the bow roller is on the opposite side from the windless gypsy. And I didn't really think it was going to be an issue at the beginning because it didn't look like that steep of an angle. But just that little bit of an angle does make a difference. And so today's fun task is going to be moving the bow roller from this side to that side. Yay. Almost done. Not quite done. There's always one more thing. Okay, uh, where do I begin? <laughs> we, we, this were morning, we, we were ready to leave. We checked out with immigration. We got the last little bit of food that we needed and put the dinghy up on deck. And then something happened. Yeah, I was actually on the bow getting ready to pull the anchor up. When I looked up, Kika said, I feel like that boat's a little close. And I looked up and there was one of these whale tour boats and they were maybe a foot away from our bow, but like drifting closer because there was a current. So I started yelling and screaming right as they hit our bow pulpit yeah. and just bent it almost right off the boat. Yeah. Um, apparently the captain was like doing Busy. some work on the boat and the other two guys in the boat weren't paying attention either. Yeah, it's crazy here because there's a lot of tour boats here. It's, very, it's a very busy place and they all anchor here and they go back to the bay during the day to, you know, either to the island with tourists or to see the whales. But then they have this tendency to come really close to boats anyway. And really fast. They don't and slow really down fast. and they'll pass at 10 feet away and just throw the boat all yeah. over the place. They're usually you also hear them, but this one was on idle or something. He was barely drifting. But Luckily, otherwise he would have done way more damage. Yeah. He, was, he was only about an inch from actually hitting the, uh, the bow roller that I just finished installing like yesterday. And if yeah. he hit that, it would have done a lot more damage to our boat because it would have torn holes in our bow rather than just bend our bow pulpit. So mm -hmm. I think everyone got really lucky, but still. So um, what happened after I got on board and started talking to them about, you know, the options that we had because I mean, they did a damage to our boat. So it's their <laughs> responsibility to fix it. And uh, she got feisty. I got the uh, yeah, the, the hook side of me kind of came out because I mean, I was kind of upset, I was kind of angry a little bit, and <laughs> as, sh as you should be. So I told him like how much it would cost to repair it, and the guy was like, No, but we can repair it for you. And but the problem is, we already checked out with immigration and we had five hours basically to leave the country. So we told him it's not an option to, for you to fix it. If we had time, yes, it would be, but we need to get going and maybe fix it in our next port. Yeah, the wind is perfect this week. Otherwise, we would have probably hung out for another week if the wind wasn't. But we've got another northern front coming through, blowing good downwind sailing for us. So we really do need to leave now. Yes. And so what happened, we uh, we got on shore, got the, the person responsible, and they were really, really cooperating. They, they we talked first, to the owner of the company, not yeah, the boat captain. Yeah, so the owner of the company talked to us, and he really offered to repair it for us. But... For that, he would have to send the parts to Santo Domingo, and that would take days to come back and then install it, and that was not an option. Speaking <laughs> of getting waked, there yeah, was our boat just boat. went through, so and it's gonna here start comes rocking. The wake. <laughs> Whee! Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, we we talked about it, and uh, they agreed to give us five hundred dollars to for the repairs that we're going to do, which it's, is it it's fair. fair. It's enough to at least fix it find the right guy and yeah. fix it in Puerto Rico. And since it is such a, a small claim, they agreed to just, the company agreed to 
pay us the money and the insurance company would reimburse the company, the, the tour company, so that we could leave with cash in our pocket and not have to deal with pictures and sending uh, reports and mm -hmm. getting estimates when we're in Puerto Rico. So we can just go there, find someone, get it fixed, yeah. and be done with it. I mean, hopefully we can find somebody who'll be able to repair it for that in yes. Puerto Rico. But um, Now that uh, the whole bow puppet is all bent and broken, but we... I had to bend it back out of the way so, we will, so our sails won't get caught on it. Yeah, then did that and then we taped uh, all the, ed the sharp edges, not because it's going to fix anything, but because it's going to protect our sail, because we don't want our sail to get ripped yeah, um, sharp, when we're packing mean. or anything. So that's that. And Anyway, our we're wind is here. We're still leaving today. Our wind finally showed up. <laughs> we're ready to go. We're a little on edge, but I think we're ready to leave. Now every boat that goes by, we're like, huh? <laughs> Where is it going? How fast is it going? How close oh. is it from us? It's crazy, but I mean, on the positive side, we were on the boat when that happened, because that yeah. could have happened when we were on shore. And that would have gone. been a whole other problem because we wouldn't be able to have proof of somebody doing anything. And we would just come back to a boat with a broken bow puppet. Yeah. Anyway, it anyway. all worked out in the end. We're ready to leave now. Note. Samana, goodbye, Puerto Rico, here we come. I think what I'm most excited for about leaving is not having to haul the anchor up by hand. I can just step on a little button and the anchor comes up all by itself. Look at that. It's so exciting. My back is just screaming for joy. I love it. It's easy to let bad times ruin a good day, but at this point, there was not much more we could do about the situation, and being mad or negative wouldn't get us any further. We were glad we were able to reach an agreement with the tour company, and despite that little pulpit hiccup, we had smiles on our faces and were excited to set sail to a new port. Our sail couldn't be more perfect. It felt like we were gliding through the water. The seas were mostly flat with swells very far apart. And on a day like this when we had no obligation to be useful, it was nice to finally relax and just enjoy the moment. Or in my case, to find something to do, since I just cannot stay still. Well, it looks like we're going to be getting into San Juan tonight. Uh, we're only about four hours away. The wind this passage has been really light, but we've been moving along steadily at three and four knots and comfortably too, which was nice, but it means we're going to get there at night, which isn't the end of the world. The, um, the bay at San Juan is well lit and well charted. Uh, technically, I've been there before on the delivery I was on last summer, but two summers ago, ah, it's been two years. So I'm kind of familiar with the bay already. Um, and there's lots of good spots to anchor just outside the main channel. So we'll head in tonight and anchor just outside the channel and then tomorrow morning hopefully move anchorages to a better spot. But yeah, sun's starting to set. Looks like we'll be there about 10 o'clock tonight. We're pretty excited to get there. It's a, it's a new country for the both of us, so that'll be fun.
At first, I was a bit nervous to sail into the Sunwet Inlet at night. The idea of passing by those big cruise ships gave me goosebumps. But as soon as we got closer, the city light kept getting brighter, and the sail in became super easy. It was an amazing view with all the pretty lights. And since the wind wasn't blocked by the buildings, we sailed all the way to our anchorage. One of my favorite things about arriving to a new place at night is waking up the next morning and seeing the place for the first time. We're excited to share with you our next step where we get... Uh, Last time, we can do this. We're excited to share with you our next step where we explore a bit of Sun One and finally get some lum over <laughs> And finally get some lum over do <laughs> I keep saying oh. lum <laughs> and finally get some long overdue boat projects done. No surprise there. <laughs> Until then, cheers! I bet you have a fingerprint on the camera. Right there. Oh, I to... thought it was on the screen. I see it actually. Damn it!